All right. So for number 10, it says x squared minus 14x plus c. And what they want us to do is they want us to create our perfect square trinomial. right? Over there, we already had perfect square trinomials. So it was easy to write it then as a perfect square, correct? Right? Do you guys see? You have a perfect square trinomial, you factor it down to a perfect square. So what they want us to do is they want us to create what would be, what would be the number for c that would make this a perfect square trinomial. So to find that, we don't need to guess and check. To find that out, all we need to do is take your b, divide it by 2, and square it. OK? So when we take b divided by 2, so negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 squared equals 49. So let's take a look at that. If I put 49 in for c, is this now a perfect square trinomial? Yeah. yeah, it is. And then what is going to be the value of its perfect square? And that's it. That's all you guys got to do. OK? Yep. So just remember, the main important thing, though, is making sure that you have it in quadratic. So all you do is you take your b, divide it by 2, square it, add it in. Now, if you get a little stuck, to find always this term, this term right here is always your b divided by 2, right there. That's how you can always determine what that number is going to be in your square. OK? So until lunch, let's go ahead and do number 9 through 14.